And this weekend, there's a big event happening that I know the whole family is going to enjoy. We are talking about Monster Jam coming to South Haven. And so we've got a very special guest here with us this morning. Um, Brit, uh, Brianna, I'm so sorry, Brianna Mohan. I hope I'm saying your name right. Hey, Brianna, how's it going? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Glad you're here with us this morning, bright and early. So let's talk about it. For folks who have never experienced a Monster Jam, uh, what is this and what goes into it? <clears throat> Monster Jam is unlike anything you have ever experienced before. It is action-packed, high-flying, completely unscripted. And we have 12,000-pound trucks flying through the air, doing backflips and all sorts of stunts. So, uh, Brianna, first of all, you don't get scared in these big old trucks? I mean, flipping and moving and all that? I've been doing this about 10 years now, so I can't say that I ever really get scared. Some nerves here and there, but really not bad. I hear you. I hear you. So I know that uh, you say there's a lot of freestyling that goes into this, but is there a, a particular way that you like to start or go about it? I mean, do you just get in the car and start going? Yeah, you know, I always like to start um, a couple of like almost predetermined hits. Like I'm going to hit this jump, which is going to throw me over here. And then once we get about 15 seconds in, which is our scorable time, that's when I kind of what everyone calls my princess of carnage style comes out and I go crazy, try to destroy the truck and hopefully um, in the run in a true princess of carnage style backflip. Princess of Carnage. Is that, is that an official name? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Um, so tell me about the reaction you get from the kids. when they, and, and honestly, the girls. Because I know a lot of times this might be like a male-dominated thing. So when the girls see you, how do they react? Absolutely. I mean, we have obviously all walks of life that come to our events and to the pit parties and when the sisters come and the moms come, you know, they're kind of drug along sometimes and, and they really have no idea that females are competing within Monster Jam. And, and at our specific series on our tour, we have three amazing females that are competing every weekend. And so they're really just kind of shocked. And sometimes they become our biggest fans and they come back year after year simply because they got to meet us. I love that. Is there any kind of interactive component or is it really as simple as sit back and enjoy the show no i mean we have uh, several different um opportunities to meet and greet the drivers we have the pit party which is prior to the event you get to come down on that arena floor in the dirt you get to you know see the trucks up close get our autographs get pictures play in the dirt there's all sorts of different activities going on that the kids can, you know, get involved in. And then we even have some VIP experiences for the um, post show. And uh, that's kind of where, you know, you get to come again and, and just get up close and personal, meet us, have a conversation, get some autographs and, you know, just get to spend time. And, and there's no other motorsport like that out there. We really pride ourselves in that that one on one opportunity to, you know, get up close and personal with us drivers. That human interaction is so important. I love that. And I really feel like it gives the people a chance to see like, hey, maybe I can get into this or, you know, train to do so. I don't know what all goes into it. Actually, can you answer that? I mean, how do you become a Monster Jam monster truck driver? How'd you start? You know, so I came from a motorsports background. I was a professional motocross racer you know, here in the Midwest, my entire life, traveling the country coast to coast. And um, there's a tryout process. And actually, there's something we call Monster Jam University now that has been developed over the years. And, and it's truly a, an incredible process that people get to go through and, you know, learn how to interview and media relations. And then obviously, you learn how to drive a Monster Jam truck. And, you know, that's such a cool opportunity. There's even an opportunity at UNOH, the University of Northwestern Ohio, you can go and basically learn how to work on these huge trucks and eventually end up with a job within Monster Jam. That that is just so cool to me. There is so much more than meets the eye uh, when it comes to you, when it comes to Monster Jam. Um, I, I really am kind of enthused by this. So we got a couple weeks. I believe you, the dates are May 3rd at the Lander Center, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, we have, I believe, four 
awesome events coming. I always tell people you are going to pay for the whole seat, but you are only going to need the edge. You know, these are just crazy events within competitions that we've got two wheel skills, racing, you may see donuts and sky wheelies and freestyle with some huge backflips. And South Haven is actually our last stop of the tour. So if you want to see some incredible carnage, some absolute crazy driving, South Haven is the place to be. We are there Friday night. We have two events on Saturday and a, another event on Sunday. So there's plenty of opportunities to come out and, and get your fill of some high-flying trucks. I already know it's going to be a huge party. Sounds like a lot of fun. Um, Brianna, is there anything else you want folks to know uh, before, you know, they decide to get those tickets or anything? You know, don't wait. You know, go on there, get your pit passes, get your event tickets. You know, you do not want to miss the last stop of this tour. We have such an incredible tour so far. We are all so close in points. This is the last stop before the Monster Jam World Finals, which is out in LA at SoFi Stadium. And you know what? Who knows? Maybe you're even going to fall in love and you're going to buy some tickets to the Monster Jam World Finals. Hey, I'm here for it. All right. Well, Brianna, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you chatting with us here on the digital desk. Good luck to you. I don't think you need it, but good luck anyway. And, and have so much fun when you make your way here to the Mid-South. Thank you. Can't wait to come back. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, y'all, stick with us right here on the Action News 5 Digital Desk. We have to take a short break, but we've got to look at your forecasts coming up in just one minute.